So when I first got here, this warehouse was full of a bunch of boxes. Like there was batteries everywhere. And one of the biggest goal that I had, or I still have, is to manage to make this warehouse more like an assembly line, but also be more easy to walk around, have everything labeled, you know what? Just check this out. So basically now, if you look behind me, everything is like clear up. This is where the stations, the new stations are going to be, right here. Uh, for the moment, they need to finish up the tables, but everything is up. Like we got the new shelves installed and now everything is up there and all starts from the beginning of the door, which is back there. Everything starts from over there, all the way down here. Now the main working batteries or pallets that they're gonna be always working on are underneath this yellow markings right here. And everything that is here, it's basically to be worked on every single day. So now this whole space that was full of pallets and pallets and pallets and pallets of batteries, it still has the same amount, but everything is so much clearer now. Everything's so much like it's just beautiful. Look at this space right now. Now, this is how big it is. And this is an amazing opportunity because, as you remember, Tom, he helped me getting batteries to Puerto Rico to help the people that were still without power. And this is a thank you note for me to him. So, Tom, I know you're going to watch this. And from me to all your friends, employees, and families, thank you so much. Like, I really pray to God that this is not only just one thing, that we could continue to work together and thank you, thank your dad, your brothers, your, your girlfriend, Steve, Steve, I love you, you know that. You know, I know you love me, Steve, I know you, I know. So thank you so much, this is my last day. And what else can I say? I'll see you later, guys. Thank you so much for the awesome weekend. God bless you, bye. So, for the last week, this has been my room. This has been my house. This has been my, my home, my office, my everything. And today is the last day and I'm heading back to Puerto Rico and I just can't wait to see my wife. But still, I have that this little feeling inside me that it makes me feel kinda, kinda weepy, kinda sad because I'm gonna miss this family. I'm gonna miss Tom. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs> so, I 
just made it back to Puerto Rico, so that means that I need to change my language. Así que ya estoy en Puerto Rico, se acabaron las vacaciones, entre comillas, y ahora es a trabajar, a desarrollar nuevos proyectos, pero antes que todo, darle un buen beso a mi esposa y decirle lo mucho que la amo. Pero vamos primero a buscar la maleta.